misconceptions of who Sir Thomas Crapper really was. Many people think he was the guy who invented the flush toilet or a guy who made the toilet, but that's actually not the case at all. The flush toilet has been around since 1596, and Sir Thomas Crapper lived in the mid to late 1800s. He was a plumber in London who was practicing. He started in about 1860, and he heavily promoted sanitary plumbing and plumbing fixtures. He increased the popularity of the toilet, but had nothing to do with the actual invention or the patenting of the flushing toilet. He did make many additions to the flush toilet, including nine patents. Three of those were for water closet improvements, one including what's now known as the Ballcock Assembly, which is one of the biggest improvements of all time. But none of them were, in fact, for the flush toilet itself. He did increase the popularity of it, but mostly through advertising. In the 1880s, Prince Edward, who later became King Edward, had Crapper supply the royal um, quarters with plumbing, which ended up making him worldly famous because it was the first royal warrant. And he ended up getting nine more royal warrants when Edward became king. Some of those were to supply water. Some of those were to supply uh, toilets. Um, some of those were to get rid of waste. And some of those were to put the waste uh, that was going to the king's chambers outside. He received further warrants when Edward became king, which made him a hero in London. Crapper also advertised that the siphonic flush was his own invention, which was not the case. He modified it, which was one of his nine patents, but he did not invent it. There are many people who see a toilet and think directly of Thomas Crapper when that shouldn't be the case at all, because he didn't do anything but modify it, but now when people think of his name, what do they think of? They automatically think of a toilet. So I guess he was good at what he was doing in advertising, but he was never an inventor. He was only a modifier.